Uh, today I am going to show the different uh, data analysis on Origin software. Uh, so uh, we will have the data of uh, uh, FTIR data which uh, need to be smoothing and uh, make, uh, have to make a presentation. So I am here to provide how to smoothing this FTIR data and uh, baseline correction of that uh, data. So I've already have a wave number and the transmittance of one observant. So now, uh, now I will make some here line graph. So this is the first uh, raw data form, which will get uh, like this. So this is not the uh, good way of the presentation. Uh, so now here I'll do the baseline correction. So you have to go here in the analysis sections and you will see the peaks and the baseline. So uh, go to the peak analyzer and for the new you have to open a uh, dialog. So now you will see this uh, peak analyzer section uh, and here in the goal section now you can uh, you have to do subtract baseline and do the next here. So here in the baseline mode, uh, put the asymmetric list square smoothing. And again, do next here, and uh, you, you can make as it is, or you can also check the different uh, threshold smoothing factor and number of the uh, iterations as well. So I'll put on the same type. So uh, let's do on the next here. So this will create on the different uh, new file. So Let's finish it. So here now, you will get the baseline, uh, subtracted baseline. This one. So again, select this uh, baseline data. And here again, do the line graph. So from uh, this raw uh, data, we have get this smoothing of our graph, which gives the proper visual uh, presentation in which you will get the peak properly. You know how to put the peaks properly. So uh, for the FTI data, you have to change the scales as well. Uh, before you can go to the properties here, and then you can do the scales. Uh, I'll put here uh, with the for the line and the ticks also you can change the minor ticks with the non uh, you can apply here so here is still there is the missing so again uh, you can change your data scale Okay, you can change the color of the line as well here. You can change different color as you prefer here with this width. This is your the final data. And for the peak analyzer, I will again click this graph and you can have here in this uh, section here you'll see here data reader so i'll put these sections here and now you will see here is the x value is 3404 now take the text file and here you can write 3404 you can make uh, bold it as well and you can put like uh, this you can also take the line here line here you can change the color of it here I'll change with the red color and for the next also again go with the data reader 
okay so if you want to go with this one so here you can see one six four five you can take the text file here and one six four five So after the thousand is the fingerprint region so we don't need this region so for the other functional group so here I have uh, noted down with the different web number here and these are the different web number with the possible assign uh, assignment of the, of the functional group here you can see the NH stress, CH stress, um, hydrogen oxide with the carboxyl A mites so like this way you can know what type of the functional group will present in the, in the different types of the absorbent or the chemical absorbent